Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Well, Tropical Storm Sally has finally formed. It reached 40 miles an hour. National Hurricane Center put out the, the name for Tropical Storm Sally to be uh, Tropical Depression 19. Uh, the, the depression is forecast to strengthen to a hurricane early next week as it moves across the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. And there is an increase in risk of life-threatening storm surge and dangerous hurricane force winds from southeastern Louisiana to the Alabama coast. Residents in this area should closely monitor the progress of this system and updates to the forecast as storm surge and hurricane watches will likely be issued later today. And I will issue those as soon as they come out so you all have all the information you need on those. Now here's the uh, tropical storm force wind probabilities and up to hurricane force winds if you're if for some reason you're out in, in the water. But you can see here the yellow up here is the 30s. This darker yellow is 40 miles an hour winds. This darker brown is 50s. And this orange up in here is 60 miles an hour winds. And all the hurricane force winds is out in the ocean. So hopefully for some reason you're not out there. But they predicted by Monday 8 p.m. This will be hurricane force winds all the way till Tuesday at 8 a.m. So be aware of that, guys. This thing has been updated. One thing that's not different is the amount of rainfall you're going to get and the flash flood warnings that they do have uh, for the areas for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Those are still the same. So it seems like the only thing that, diff that changed was the, uh, the wind event. So it is going to be a wind and a rain event. Now this is the NAM 3K model. I'm going to show you the next 60 hours that we have to expect from this with all the storms hitting from Florida to Louisiana to Alabama, Mississippi. Everybody's getting hit with some, some kind of storms from this uh, system as it moves through. Now the biggest part of the problem is going to be these big rain bands. The system has a good formation to it and as you see as it gets closer and goes across the Gulf it has a great eye formation to it. So it flings these, wet, these rain bands all the way around. Look at all that just hitting it all the way around and you're going to have water spouts with this you're going to have tornado warnings that's going to come out of this any any uh event that has vorticity you're going to have problems with the tornadoes but as you can see it does form a good eye a good center to it and it does whip around on florida again with these rain bands after it done passed so don't think you're in the clear just because it's not next to y'all no more now here's the last shot we have so far for the 60 hour look and that's it and you can see the rain bands that go into Florida have some big hail cores into them. So y'all please be aware of these storms. It is going to keep hitting y'all. And these are going to wrap around also. But it looks like so far, that's where landfall could possibly be. It looks like it's going to be somewhere around in between New Orleans and Biloxi. Unless it does a northern push. But it's been going western. So let's take one good look again. And this is where so far it's going to be on the 14th at 3 p.m. So it's going to be a lot of heavy rain. That's going to be a lot of storm surge. It's going to be a lot of flash flooding. And it's going to be a lot of winds. So please stay tuned to your, your local uh, news station. If they tell you all that there's something going on where you may need to evacuate due to those, the winds and the flooding, please consider it seriously. I'd like to share with y'all Psalms 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, According to the, the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is, is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, I have sinned and done this evil in thy sight. That thou mightest be judged, justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was sharpened in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou, thou de desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with, with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be wither than, whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a, a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways 
and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou, I'll open thou my lips, and my mouth shall shew forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. A broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offering. Then shalt they, then shalt they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Amen. Now that, that was to the chief musician Mashkal, a uh, psalm of David when Doeg an Edomite, came and told Saul and said unto him, David is come to the house of Echimelech. I like that. That was, a, that was a good one. Psalm 51, guys. So God bless you very much. Hope you all have a great day, and I hope we all be okay through whatever this cell is going to do. Whatever it is, we can handle it. So y'all stay safe. Finish having a good Saturday. Enjoy your Sabbath. All glory goes to God.